Hey boys, how you doing? How's your week going? Hey, did I ever tell you about my three rule theory? Well, you gotta hear this one. When I was young, someone told me that every person should have three rules. These are three rules that you come up with yourself and throughout the entire course of your life, you don't break them. It helps establish a discipline and a code. There are actually rules behind creating the rules and I'm going to get into those in a minute. I have had my rules for almost 25 years and I've never broken them and as a result I have avoided a lot of drama and problems in my life. So I truly believe in this theory. Well let's go over the rules to make your rules. I know it sounds kind of silly but it's important. Alright here we go. Rule number one, it has to be something attainable. It can't be something silly like I'll never lie or I'll never speed in my car because everybody does that. So it has to be something that you can actually attain, either through discipline or just sheer will. You're setting yourself up for failure if you make your three rules not attainable. Rule number two behind creating the rules is it has to be personal. They have to be something that means something to you, either something that's important to your life or something that you want for your future. Rule number three, you have to know the consequence of what happens if you break these rules. This helps to keep you on track and helps to ensure that you will follow these rules throughout the course of your life. Funny enough, ever since you boys were old enough to talk, I've been teaching you three rules. Both of you can recite these three rules on command. I wanted this because I wanted to teach you this mindset. It was never designed to indoctrinate you or force you into something you didn't want to do, but rather to get you thinking along a three rule strategy. The three rules that I gave you are actually based in logic and I want to go over that logic now with you. Rule number one of what I gave you was don't get married to your 30. This is actually based in science. People who get married before they are 30 have a much higher likelihood of getting divorced. Why? Well, quite simply, you are not going to know who you are as a person until you are 30 years old. You spend your 20s figuring that out. What do you want to do with the rest of your life? Building up your career, meeting different friends, trying different things. The reason that you do that is because you're trying to figure out who you are as a person and you won't actually solidify that until you're around 30 years old. So if you get married before you're 30, that transformation is still happening and it's happening in the person you married as well. So by the time you get to the end of it, you may find that you're no longer compatible with this person. It's also known as growing apart. The second rule I gave you, and for some reason it was always controversial with your moms and I don't know why, was don't spend your money on girls. Why? Quite simply, if you are dating someone and you are spending money on them in an attempt to impress them, you are wrong. Because unless you are the richest man in the world, there is always somebody with more money than you. And if you're with somebody who is easily impressed by the amount of money you're dropping on them, you don't want them anyways. You'll be playing catch up for the rest of your life. Dating is about getting to know somebody, okay? The reward is getting to know them. For some reason it was decided that in order to be a gentleman you need to spend money on dating. You don't. Okay? Dating is about getting to know somebody. You're just trying to figure out if you like them enough to start a relationship. Once you're in a relationship, of course, spend money on them. But while you are dating, that's just a discovery process and it shouldn't require a heavy investment on your end or their end either. Third rule I gave you is that in life you always need to have a plan. No matter where you are in your life, you need to have a plan of what you're doing and what comes next. Your plan could be, I want to do this certain occupation, so I need to take these steps to get to it. But once you reach that occupation, you need to make a new plan of where you're going to go from there. Basically, the theory behind in life you always need to have a plan is you always need to know where you're going and have a plan to get there. Okay, so now that we've covered the three rules behind making your three rules, in addition to describing the logic behind the three rules that I've already taught you, you're ready to create your own. Remember, these are your three rules. You don't have to justify them to anybody and you don't have to share them with anybody. What are my three rules? It's personal. I don't tell people that. But having gone 25 years of not breaking them, I am confident that I've avoided a lot of problems in my life. Anyways, boys, that's my theory. You guys need to come up with your own. And as always, I love you, I'm proud of you, and I think you're wonderful. We'll see you next week.